In the sacred texts of all cultures, there are stories of individuals anointed by divine forces to undertake crucial missions. These are the chosen ones. This video investigates nine distinct types, revealing how each is called to serve a higher purpose that aligns with divine plans, from prophets leading people to enlightenment to warriors destined to fight against darkness. Each role is the fulfillment of ancient prophecies. Have you ever wondered why you feel drawn to certain challenges or feel a deep responsibility to help others? This journey through biblical and doctrinal foundations doesn't just involve storytelling. It's a call to recognize and accept your part in a grand cosmic project. By understanding these roles, you can find clarity on your spiritual path and learn how your life's work contributes to a wider, divine narrative. Embrace this video as a way to connect your personal experiences with the profound missions ordained by the divine. Are you perhaps one of these chosen ones marked by a destiny to lead, heal, or transform watch and discover how embracing your role can not only elevate your spiritual journey, but also bring you closer to fulfilling your divinely appointed mission? A chosen one is a being who remembers who they really are, a spiritual being having a human experience. The truth is that we are all chosen. It's just that many people have forgotten who they really are, but there are different types of chosen ones because each of us has a different role to play. Within the world of the chosen, there are nine distinct types, but they all share a common goal to uplift humanity, whether healing inspiring or leading to a brighter path. There is unparalleled as you walk this journey. Listen carefully to your inner voice, for it will unlock the unique gifts that lie deep within you. Let's start with the first type of chosen one. The oracle. The seer. The one who can see things before they happen. The oracle dates back to ancient times. In ancient Rome, generals would consult the oracle to ask, Will we win the war? And the or would reply, You will lose this entity is the medium, the mystic, a being who embodies the truth. Their aura is magnificent, exuberant, and beautiful. People seek them out for advice because of their enormous gifts. I refer to them as the triple C clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairsentience. They have the ability to see what most people can't hear, what most people can't, and feel deeply what others experience. This is why the oracle is an empath, an intuitive empath, but their gift of clairvoyance means that they can tell you what will happen to you in the next five minutes tomorrow or next month. The oracle is the prophet among us. Their presence is a beacon for those who seek not only predictions but also understanding and guidance through the unpredictable waves of life. Oracles are revered not only for their mystical abilities, but also for their role as advisors and guides in times of uncertainty. They unite what is visible and what is unseen, drawing on the collective wisdom of all times to pass on advice that resonates in the moment and over time. Celebrated throughout history, these gifted individuals serve as guardians of wisdom. The second type of chosen one is the free spirit. This being is the quintessence of a free spirit. Uncontrollable by anyone, you are driven by a deep understanding of what you want from life. You know that there is more than meets the eye often seen as an outsider or a rebel. You don't just fit into society's molds. You're here to break them and stand out deep divers, tailor-made for greatness. You are awake and fully aware that the whole system is a sham, the whole matrix a deep deception your parents encourage, you to follow. One path your friends another but all you want is to embrace your freedom, is that too much to ask? Absolutely not. This is the second type of chosen one, a being whose main quest is freedom, above all else, and whose mission is to remind others that being free isn't just an option. It's a birthright. This understanding allows you to navigate life on your own terms, embracing the spirit of living, authentically and without restrictions, you inspire those around you by demonstrating that freedom is not just about doing what you want, but about becoming who you really are in a world that often prioritizes conformity and the familiar.
you challenge the status quo and encourage others to explore their own paths of self-discovery and liberation. Your journey is a beacon for those who feel shackled by. Circumstance those looking for a sign that it is possible to live differently by embodying the essence of freedom. You teach that breaking free from social expectations is not an act of rebellion, but a celebration of one's identity. You are the visionaries who illuminate the possibilities of a life without limits, reminding us all that our greatest freedom comes from embracing who we are meant to be now. We come to the third type of chosen one, the truth teller. You are someone who always sticks to the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You simply cannot lie. You feel compelled to keep it real at all times, revealing the matrix of who you really are. You use the truth and never shy away from speaking your mind. You speak the truth even when your voice shakes, because you know it's the right thing to do. You are the one who maintains reality in a room full of pretense. This is the third type of chosen one, and it's a role we've observed throughout history. This type of chosen one is essential in the ongoing search for authenticity and transparency in our society. Their courage not only challenges but also changes cultural narratives, opening up space for new truths to emerge and be recognized. These Pioneers embody the spirit of integrity and authenticity, often standing alone against the tide of popular opinion. Their commitment to honesty becomes a powerful force for social transformation, inspiring others to also embrace and speak their truths. This type of chosen one serves as a beacon of light in a world often darkened by deceit and superficiality. They remind us that real change begins with the Courage to be truthful in all aspects of life, regardless of the consequences. By living and promoting a life of transparency, they encourage a collective shift towards a more honest and open society, where the truth is not only spoken, but also valued and respected. As we continue to navigate through challenges and complexities, the voice of these truth-tellers becomes ever more crucial. They are not just voices in the wilderness. They are the heralds of a new era where living authentically is not just an ideal. It is the basis for a better world. The fourth type of chosen one is what I call the inspiring infiltrator. This type of chosen one naturally exudes inspiration. Their main mission is to inspire, and they exercise this power through their role as influential creators. Often these individuals are incredibly beautiful, whether they are women or men. And they use this as a tool in their mission. Their beauty often serves to convey their message of truth more effectively to a wider audience. Surprisingly, those you would least expect to be awake and aware often are they delve deeply into the understanding that we are multidimensional beings who experience human life and are here to awaken others. However, their approach is subtle. They are the stealth inspirers infiltrating the main channels with their enlightened messages. They are often artists who think I can't just tell people to wake up. I need to put this message into my music, like a wise old man mixing nutritious ingredients into a stew. They blend their transformative messages with entertainment, ensuring that the truth is not only palatable but also impactful. Sometimes they are. Influencers or artists subtly spreading messages of awakening that reach millions of people. Their method ensures that although the message is gentle, its impact is profound resonating with a wide audience. Awakening people through beauty art and subtle influence. Now let's move on to the fifth type of chosen one. What I call the confused chosen one. There are those among the chosen who find themselves at a crossroads unable to decide their path they recognize their uniqueness and the higher purpose they must serve. It is as if they are awake and aware, but still entangled in the matrix and unaware of what is happening. These individuals possess the knowledge and are aware that we are much more than we realize. They recognize the lies in the media and the corruption within the system, but still feel lost. 
This dilemma is why many people, even those with regular jobs who are deeply awake and aware, have not yet made the transition to truly living the life they discuss, contemplate, or read about confused choosers are struggling to figure out how to integrate their deep consciousness into their everyday lives. They feel the disparity between the potential of their true essence and the reality they are. Currently navigating this internal conflict often leads to a sense of paralysis as they struggle to align their spiritual understand, standing with their physical existence. The journey of these chosen ones involves bridging the gap between enlightenment and practical life. They are called upon to find ways to embody their highest truths in a world that often seems diametrically opposed to those ideals the challenge lies. In moving from awareness to action, from knowledge to living, this is a crucial transition, and it's not just about personal transformation, but about influencing the wider social fabric by finding the courage to live their truths. These individuals can inspire others to also seek authenticity and free themselves from the illusions that bind them. So are you ready to step out of the clutter and take on your role as a true, chosen one? Let this be your call to action. The sixth type of chosen one is the hermit. This type of chosen one cherishes s solitude. They find joy in meditation, hugging trees, connecting with the elements, and immersing themselves in nature, breathing in that delicious life, giving prana they appreciate deep inner experiences, sometimes choosing to do something as radical as turning off their phone for a whole day. To get quiet with their emotions and master them, they prefer their own company to following a crowd going in the wrong direction. They love to explore their emotions and feelings and value the time they spend alone. You can often find them alone in a meditative pose, such as the lotus position embodying the serene wisdom of Buddha. However, these individuals understand that they are never truly alone. The A universe has a way of sending someone at just the right moment, reinforcing the connection we all share. This deep understanding is part of their journey emphasizing that even in solitude, there is a universal bond that unites us all, this type of chosen. One teaches us the power of being alone but not lonely, exploring the depth of your inner self while remaining connected to the cosmic, how are you one of? Them ready to embrace solitude to find your true path and connect more deeply with the universe. The seventh type of chosen one. This is the warrior, those brave beings who work tirelessly to awaken humanity to the truth of its innate power. These individuals remind people that they are not powerless. They are formidable and strong. The warrior queen and king are not those who turn the other cheek. Instead, they stand firm on the battlefield fighting for truth, freedom and sovereignty, combating the forces of darkness and bringing forth the light. These are beings who do not back down. They stand firmly for the truth and fight for it, even when it brings them into controversy. Sometimes their boldness in speaking truths that others might shy away from can cause uproar, but they remain implacable. These individuals are the ones on the battlefield confronting illusions and fighting falsehoods as a warrior queen or king. Your role goes beyond personal battles. It encompasses a wider struggle for collective awakening and empowerment through your actions and words. You catalyze change, encouraging others to stand up, claim their sovereignty, and recognize the power they possess within themselves. You're not just a fighter. You're a leader guiding others through the darkness towards a brighter, truer future. The eighth type of chosen one is the healer. Here we highlight individuals who dedicate themselves to transforming lives through the philosophy of eating. To live this approach doesn't just involve choosing plant-based foods. It's about embracing a comprehensive lifestyle change that includes a healthy diet, fitness, and general well-being. These visionaries argue that a change in the way we feed our bodies can lead to profound changes in our health, vitality, and spiritual well-being. Imagine waking up every day with a burst of energy symbolized by starting the day with a fresh bunch of grapes. These individuals are living proof that health is in fact wealth. Their mission is to heal not only the body, but also the mind and soul, demonstrating that there is a viable and nutritious alternative to the standard diet.
It's not just about what you eat. It's about how you live. You'll often find these chosen ones leading by example as fitness instructors or body wellness gurus. They have the knowledge not only to guide you towards a healthier diet, but also to integrate fitness into your routine. They show you that you can achieve a balanced, healthy body in just a few days and are eager to help others improve their physical, mental, and spiritual health through their guidance. You learn that all aspects of your well-being are interconnected and that by nurturing each of them, you can live a fuller, more vibrant life. Finally, the ninth type of chosen one is the elder. They are those who are deeply revered and absolutely essential to guiding humanity onto a brighter path. These venerable figures are the shamans. Tim honored guardians of truth and light. Because of their long-standing presence on this earth, they hold the keys to ancient wisdom and secrets having witnessed the cycles of life over generations. These shamans serve as guardians of profound knowledge and experience all over the world, from the mystical heights of Peru, where many seek out shamans for transformative retreats to the wise teachers and gurus of Africa and India. These elders command respect. They are chosen to guide because of their broad insights, gained from a lifetime of observation and spiritual practice. Their mission transcends mere guidance. These chosen ones are dedicated to spreading love for humanity. They do this by sharing the wisdom they have accumulated over countless. Years wisdom that illuminates the cycles of life and the spiritual dimensions that sustain our existence as guardians of the light. These shamans not only protect ancient truths, but also ensure that these sacred flames continue to illuminate future generations. Their presence is a testament to the power of age and the respect it commands on the journey towards spiritual enlightenment. So my friends, these are the nine types of chosen ones and their missions. And I want to remind you that there are many different types of chosen ones among us. We didn't all come here to do the same thing. Each of us has a different role to play. Which one do you most identify with? I invite you to share in the comments below. Let's keep talking and supporting each other on our spiritual journeys. Don't forget to like the video. If it touches you and subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you very much for your support and participation. Peace and blessings to all, and remember, you're not alone on this journey.